Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Emerge Vartan Gaming Chair a year after I got it. The reason I'm reviewing this chair after a year and some change of getting it is because a lot of times you want to know before you buy something how it's going to hold up over time. So that's what this video is for. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new and let's get into the review. On March 19th, 2021, I uploaded this video right here up on the screen. It was me unboxing and testing this chair right here. The Emerge Vartan Gaming Chair. It did really well. You guys enjoyed it and a lot of people had a lot of comments and so I figured making this video again for the same people would be very, very helpful. So I've had it, it's been a year and almost two months, and I've put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in this chair. So safe to say it was worth 150 bucks. I think it was 150. I got it for 150. I think now it goes for about 170, 190, 200, somewhere in that ballpark. For what you get, even though it's more expensive now, I would say it's still worth the extra 10, 20, 30 bucks. It's, it's worth it. It's 100% worth to me. One of the things that I quite like is the fact that I know a lot of chairs have this. A lot of chairs have this where you can adjust the height of the arms. One thing I do when I'm editing, or if I'm watching YouTube, for example, I'll lean. I have one up a little bit higher. I'll lean kind of like this, depending on where I, you know, like to lean. Usually I have them both all the way up just because I'm a tall guy. But a year in review, this chair has lasted me over a year and so far it's still in great condition. If we take a look, obviously there's my butt print in the cushion, but the cushion itself has maintained a lot of its, a lot of its bounce back. Like it becomes back. It hasn't gotten flat or bad. Obviously like the leather or leather substitute material has kind of sort of been warped a little bit because of so many hours sitting in it. But the actual foam inside itself has remained intact. And that's one of the really big and really important things about having a good office chair or gaming chair or whatever kind of chair is that, you know, it doesn't wear out on you in the first year. And this has not actually, it's actually, I feel like it's gotten more comfortable the more I sit in it because with anything, if you break it in long enough, it's gonna fit perfect the way it needs to. Now onto the back, same kind of, the same rule applies here. The padding has not gone out and it has not worn thin and that's really good. And one thing I have done, if you notice, is the pillow for the lumbar and the head are both on the back of the chair because I've always sort of felt like the pillows were a bit who bulky and a bit too thick to where the way I sit or just what I like to do with my chair like I like to sit deep in the chair you know and having that extra six seven inches it, it makes it hard to support my back and my lower half all at the same time like if I'm sitting that far out it kind of tends to promote slouching whereas if I have my butt all the way back to the the, the intersection of the top and the bottom of the chair it feels good so personally I don't use either pillow because the top one also just hurts my head and it makes my neck too far forward it's just a lot of mess not really a fan another problem I've seen seen chairs have before is the wheels start to act up and just not quite be right. The wheels are another one of the things on this chair that are really good. The floor in here is, is it's kind of rough. I mean, it's, it's a tile, but this part, if you guys have watched my other vlogs, it used to be broken to where there's like a giant, giant hole right there. And it's just obviously not the most perfect floor conditions you can ever ask for. So with all of that, given the crud and the crap that's been on the floor in here, the wheels have held up really nicely. Matter of fact, let's do a little roll test to see how it rolls like in, in a long surface. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're gonna roll it just, you know, probably 10 feet, less than 10 feet or so. <laughs> That's smooth. And now I'm gonna roll it back into the office. <laughs> so I would say that works really well. The wheels are intact, the seat is intact, the back support is intact. The pillows are obviously intact because I haven't really used them that much just because, again, like I said, they bother me how I sit. Um, it spins well still. Whee! It's all still smooth. I think sometimes you have to like oil your office chair to get the bearing doing the right thing. So far over the last 14 months, it has not had to be so. And like I said, I've put <laughs> hundreds like I can't tell you how many hours I probably put anywhere from 60 to 80 hours a week on average in this over the course of a year it's kind of crazy how much time I've spent in this chair and it has been nothing short of spectacular for me so far it's one of those things once you get it set to the exact settings and the exact height and size of everything and once you get it broke into your sort of body shape and size and how you sit once you get it all broken in over the course of the first couple months of having it and sitting in it it's great it's the best chair I've ever sat in I'm not exaggerating either um, and this is also not a paid advertisement whatsoever I just genuinely enjoy this product very, very much. And I thought it would be helpful for you guys, or if you're looking to buy one of these in the near future, knowing what to expect over a year's time, I feel like is a really good thing to know before you go in and spend 150, 200 bucks on a chair. Because if it were me, I wouldn't want to buy a chair that I knew was going to break in less than a year. 
year or I didn't know anything else about. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you have any more questions that I could potentially answer in another video. And if you liked me, for whatever reason you would, um, I hope you would subscribe to the channel and check out all my other videos. I got a whole bunch of vlogs up on my channel. I also have the other gaming chair video right here on the screen and I have a playlist of some of my more recent vlogs right here. And right up in the middle is a subscribe button. Just click on that, subscribe to the channel, join the family. I'd really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.